The Food and Drug Administration has approved the first generic rival to EpiPen. The self-injecting device used to treat potentially life-threatening allergic reactions has faced a number of issues in recent years, including shortages and notoriously high prices. Anna Werner reports on how the new generic drug sold by Teva Pharmaceuticals could shake up the market. It kind of does scare me. 11-year-old Sam Brunson is like millions of Americans. He suffers from a severe nut allergy, which means having an EpiPen like this one could be a matter of life or death. But in May, the FDA reported a shortage of EpiPens due to a manufacturing issue. Demand left many pharmacies bare. The shortage is, is a really big problem. It didn't matter who I called. I could not find it. Parents like Sam's mother, Megan Brunson, have been stocking up on EpiPens as the back-to-school season begins. Brunson finally tracked one down, but then ran into another problem. It's about $700 or just shy of $700 for one box. And uh, I really needed to have the generic. The drug maker Mylan faced backlash after the price of its EpiPen soared from just over $100 in 2009 to more than $600 in 2016. The company put out a cheaper $300 version following criticism from Congress. Teva Pharmaceuticals will make the new generic EpiPen, but it's unclear when it will be available or exactly how much it will cost. In a statement, the company said, we're applying our full resources to this important launch in the coming months and are eager to begin supplying the market. Dr. John LaPook is the CBS News chief medical correspondent. You don't want price to have to come into that to decide, well, you know what, I would have had this life-saving medication with me, but it was just too expensive. And for the Brunson family, that's a decision they face every day. It is just not even feasible for a household income, who, no matter who you are, to write over a check for $700. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner. Anna, thanks.